Just a few days ago, everyone was hit with a very big dopamine hit. The kids were jumping in the air, screaming and crying at the screen. The adults stood up from their chairs because their childhood dream was about to turn into a movie. But it all lasted for five seconds after everyone watched the trailer. That dopamine turned into pure hate. On YouTube, the trailer has almost doubled the likes. It has almost 800,000 dislikes. And in the latest report, it has surpassed 1 million dislikes. Now, I watched the trailer three days ago when it got released and it was absolutely horrible it made borderland look like a good movie and that says a lot because literally when i moved into this place i had no internet but i downloaded borderland and i wanted to watch this movie and see what's it all about that everyone's been talking about it because since the hd came out in the third party website i downloaded it and from the ratings i knew the movie was bad but i didn't know it was that bad i've si I sat through some very horrible movies but finished it and i swear to god the first 15 minutes i turned the whole thing off i would have rather drank acid with my eyes i've never wanted to slap a 12 year old more than this in my life now i'm pretty sure you know how big the minecraft world is even if you don't play it right now we all played it like 10 years ago or 15 years ago when we were like growing up it was a big part of our childhood and there has never been a minecraft movie ever so i'm sure you know how big of a deal it is but everyone is mad at this movie is because of the characters in the movie who the fuck is he supposed to be they just threw some random people some famous actors i don't know who she is now i love jason mamano but who is he supposed to be in this movie you can't just make up characters out of your ass and be like oh okay well he's famous guy you're gonna love this movie because you know jason mamano is in this movie now growing up i watched almost every single movie that jack black has been in and in my eyes he's always going to be nacho libre but in this movie he identifies as steve is he steve fuck no he identifies as it because he looks nothing like steve they literally should have put that tiktok guy the square face one and he would have killed the robe but i look like steve from minecraft my friend you look more than steve than steve himself but they put him because he has a very popular reputation everyone knows him and by that they thought by just putting famous actors in this movie it is going to be a good movie now these are all the movies made over the past few years based on video games mortal kombat i'm sure you watched the mortal kombat if you haven't definitely watch it but the main key point is the actors look like the main characters. Sonic, based on a video game. This is another thing I wanted to talk about. If they would have gone with full animation, spent less budget even, just put voiceovers of these actors, it would have been completely fine. But they decided to bring the actors in you know real life bring them in a video game it's like if sonic was played by dwayne johnson just painted in blue and dwayne just running really really fast it doesn't make sense the only way it would have been okay to put a real life character into this movie is if they brought gordon ramsay into it box office oscar winner movie 100 percent guaranteed oh my god at first i thought i found treasure <gasps> An animation world game like Minecraft, it should never be you know, brought like real characters into it. A game like, for example, Fallout, the series came out on Prime Video. It was absolutely amazing and they killed it. But a game like, for example, Angry Birds, they made a whole animation about it and they killed it as well. It absolutely blew up the box office and I watched it maybe like three times. But I gotta be very honest, the animation looks great in this movie. But if it was fully animated, it would have been way better. If the whole movie was like this, I would have definitely watched it and I would have seen nothing wrong with it. But this is what ruins it. Now, end of the day, even though this whole thing got a lot of backlash, I believe it is still going to be one of the biggest movies ever made, even though it will be like a huge failure in the imdp the, the ratings on like the movies i'm sure you're still going to be watching it as well and hopefully the first 15 minutes we won't have to click off of the movie like this fucking borderland movie but is it worth it to pay and go to the cinema and watch it absolutely not i'll still wait like two three months until the hd comes out in like some shady ass russian third party website but 100 even if you decide to go to the cinemas you're going to find out that it's going to be 70 80 percent just children watching this whole thing and end of the day even as kids when you watch any sort of movies oh my god it's so nice it's so cool you just binge watch it and you just you just don't care you don't pay rent you're carefully no responsibility in this world you drink your juice box and juice box and you just fucking watch the movie but as you grow up you're gonna see the flaws into movies i've been looking for a response from jack black and jason mamana i have there's no one has responded yet which is very normal i believe they're not allowed to and and we just gotta wait till 2025 for the movie to come out and see how it actually is but i just wanted to talk about it 
let me know your thoughts in the comments below let me know what you think about the whole trailer after you watch it for the first time but like subscribe you know the rest take it for yourself i'll see you in the next